It's a self-portrait of me on Christmas Day. I was really happy in that moment, so I wanted to show it in the portrait. We made it at school. We thought, because of the environment, we thought we'd make something like environmentally friendly. Really excited and happy to see it in such an incredible place. We made it! So I tried to mix blue and green, and that's how I got the kind of swampy colour. And I quite like the orange for the eyes and then the sun, so they match. I did this artwork to show um, about long COVID and in the jar it shows me being trapped inside by COVID and then on the outside it shows me walking and being able to run and stuff and do all the things I wanted to do. This mysterious cat comes into our garden every day. Then one day I finally got to see it like properly and it was actually really cute and timid. That's me and that's my dad. I got a picture and then scratched it on some plastic. I got my inspiration from Esha. I like to sculpt animals out of blue tack. It's quite an unusual art media. I feel very proud of myself because it's a big achievement. I'm not really used to people crowding around something that's mine. These are the eyes and the mouth is over here. There's a triangle over here. And this is a round thing. I don't know what this is, but it was a long time ago I drew did it. This is my picture where Mummy met the good wolf. Mummy, wolf. We basically just drew a line down the middle and then I did this side, he did that side. It's really cool because there are so many artworks that are really good as well, like amazing. It took us like almost two years and over COVID, we reused a lot of old stickers that most people get for like going home presents after parties and never use. I saved all of my favourite stickers for the end so that they weren't overlapped by other stickers. I've seen a lot of people looking at my work and I just feel, well, it's quite cool to have it in the Royal Academy.